his name is Mephibosheth. Now watch this. Mephibosheth church was ostracized because of his uh, health functions. He had a physical malady. Anybody in here tonight, or this morning rather, can understand that you've been at a place in your life where you felt unwanted? Yes. Right. yes. Nobody cared about you. You were at a place where you had some physical maladies, some health issues, some incapabilities, and you were ostracized because of your disease or your issue or your dilemma or your problem, and you're in Lodabar. Say Lodabar. Now, the word Lodabar means pastureless. And he was at a place where, where the flocks could not graze because the pastures were not welcoming for the flocks. So they had to get rid of the flock. So he is at a place. Some of y'all in Lodabar right now don't even know it. You in Lodabar right now. You at a place that's pastureless. You're not growing. You're not spiritually where you want to be. But it's going to take somebody to show the kindness of God to help you out with your predicament. So God is looking for somebody this morning to show some kindness. So if you've been in a place where you felt unwanted, you had an issue, God is trying to send somebody today to show you kindness. Say kindness. God wants to restore some good fortune in your life. God wants you to show, wants to show you some kindness so you can get out of Lodabar. Amen. That place that's pastureless. So what David did was something interesting. He tried to find somebody who he could show his kindness to. Are you trying to find, y'all ain't saying nothing this morning, somebody in your life who you can show some kindness to? Who have you overlooked? Who have you overlooked in Lodabar? who don't have no food, who is dealing with some physical maladies and you walk right on by them. One of the things that I learned is that sometimes in, uh, in seminary school, uh, you can get so caught up in the Bible. And let me just help you understand this. Let me just talk freely here. The other day, I was so excited about the gospel meeting and we had had visitors all week. And you, sometimes as a preacher, you can be on a high uh, because of the atmosphere and the things that's going on in the church, which is great. But sometimes when you have that mountaintop experience, say mountaintop experience. Sometimes God is going to have to send you right back down to the valley. So a good friend of me and my wife, they had a baby uh, on Thursday. And Thursday was a day that I had given my life 18 years ago to the Lord and had got baptized. So I was happy about my spiritual birthday. I was happy about that a family friend of ours had gotten the good news that he had a child. And then I got a phone call that another close friend of me and my wife had a child that was six months old that had passed away the same day. So... Sometimes in religion and in Christianity, you have your highs, but you can't always stay on the mountaintop. Sometimes God is going to send you back down to the valley because there's some folk in the valley that need to be shown some kindness and some love. There's some folk in the valley that's in low the ball. And they have dealt with some circumstances and the issues in their life. And they need somebody to try to find them to show them some kindness. We are folk in the church and our job is to be like David. Who can I find in the household of Jonathan to show some loving kindness to? Who can I find in the household of Jonathan that's in Lodabar? Who can I find in the household of Jonathan that needs somebody to pick them up and needs somebody to tell them everything is going to be okay? God is going to bless you. I'm here to help you. I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to be a shoulder that you can cry on. I'm going to be there for you in your time of need. That's what Christianity is all about. We need to be the type of people, say type of people, that are willing to give and demonstrate and exemplify the same type of kindness that God allow you to have and you need to give that to somebody. So I show kindness to people when I find people to be kind to. 
So are you finding folk to be kind to? That's what David did. He raised the question, is there anybody? Are y'all in here this morning? Is there anybody left that I can show my kindness to? Because if God has blessed you, say God has blessed me. If God has blessed you with a couple dollars, you ought to be able to get some change to somebody else. If God has your refrigerator fully stocked, come on somebody, you ought to be able to help out somebody else. If God has sent Jesus and showed you some kindness, you ought to tell somebody else about Christ. That's what we got to do in the Lord's church. So David found Mephibosheth, can't you see him? He's crippled, he's lame, he's been ostracized, he's, he can't move freely like he wants. And all of a sudden he gets the call that David has called him to the palace. And David wants to meet him. I, I see just why you woke me up this morning. You want to use me to try and change something. 